Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Kamunda 8 architecture. Okay, so you can see my screen actually. So it, it is a, this is the architecture which is proposing by the Kamunda 8. Okay, so before understanding this, I would like to share the Kamunda 7 architecture. Okay, so hope if you are if you watched my earlier videos, you you know that actually. So what this architecture explains right so again maybe i can cover it within a, a quick within a minute actually okay so if if you are a developer right so you may have a spring boot application or you may have a separate application okay so you can see my cursor moving actually so this is the place where you will create your spring boot application and you will just inject the kamunda engine dependencies right so then you can utilize the java apis of kamunda and rest apis of kamunda right so this is the main part of i mean heart of the kamunda okay then this uh, this is the your this will work as a your uh, kamunda hard part okay then you have the modeler okay model is nothing but actually so you have the kamunda modeler to design uh, your bpmn as well as the dmn okay then this is the end users we will people will use the task list uh, actually the cockpit ui as well as the customer application the custom your own application okay then cockpit and admin this all are these three cockpit admin as well as the task list these three belongs to the what we can say kamunda uis right so you can utilize your own ui as well you can just integrate with the rest endpoints okay so this modeler whenever you are designing this modeler this will be stored in the file repository of your uh, application maybe if you are using spring boot the uh, resource folder will be the different different application different different places will be there right so this file repository should be belongs to your uh, application then that application will be interact with the kamunda databases kamunda databases you know that you can utilize any of the database like right? they are giving lot of opportunities oracle mysql uh, whatever it may be okay fine now let me jump into kamunda 8 architecture so you know that uh, the main difference between the old kamunda 7 and the new kamunda 7 you know the main difference right so this is the embedded architecture okay so this is the cloud based architecture okay that is a major difference between the kamunda 7 and 8 okay so when you want you, you want to work with cloud based right so you can utilize lot of features right so th that is the main reason they introduce the cloud based so let's let's look into this how this is looks like and how exactly you are you, you can utilize this kamunda 8 right if you see here this is the browser okay which may be your own application you can you you can think that your own angular application in the top okay the browser point okay then you can see here this is the spring boot application right and this is the kamunda platform 8 you can see here sas okay so this is nothing but this is the kamunda cloud which uh, maybe you can pay and you can utilize as well as they are having the free version as well okay that we will see it later okay so in the cloud i mean in their in their sas uh, kamunda 8 platform they are providing like a gateways and they are providing operate optimize connectors uh, i mean task list and all the uh, stuffs will be belong to here okay and they are having the zb okay actually this is the client library which will interact with your spring boot application right hope you understood right so then coming to your spring boot application okay here it is very simple you have the custom endpoints i mean you have the rest controllers or whatever it may be so bpm and dmn with uh, along with your uh, resource folder right so farm ui or uh, farms are your, your own uis if you want you can develop it actually here then external task worker for example if you want to call third party services or whatever it may be so that you can configure here like for example kafka is there or mq is there whatever it may be if you want you can configure here then business logics and your entities i mean entities means which will uh, which will relate uh, which will interact with your database like postgres whatever it may be oracle or mysql whatever it may be so that those things will belong to the spring boot application if you notice here you can see you can create your application as a multiple nodes here okay so this will be taken care by your zb client so this is like maintaining by the cluster wise actually so that is the advantage when you are using the kamunda 8 okay so the performance and everything will be huge right okay 
so if you see the client library so this is nothing but zb client okay so when you are developing your spring boot application nothing you need to do you need to just uh, you use couple of annotations as well as you need to add the zb client dependency into your spring boot application you 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 don't want to inject any other dependencies like a embedded dependency or whatever it may be you don't want to do that so when request is coming from your browser to spring boot application so it may come to custom rest endpoints so from here you may call your service layer right so this service layer will call with the help of zb client library with the help of that it will directly interact with your cloud system so your local machine have spring boot application your cloud is having the command of platform a attached so the zb client will help to interact with the cloud system that is the main motive of this architecture right so hope you understood right so this is our browsers or whatever it may be so if you want to inject your load balancer you can do that then it will so your browser if you want to interact directly you can do from the front end application or whatever it may be again with the help of spring boot application basically we will have the due to security reason we will have the back end application and all the things so from here we will call our command of platform 8 right so with the help of gateways so you will go with a gateway so because this is uh, done via like a microservice architecture way right so hope you understood right so how kamunda 8 architecture working so but if you see that kamunda 7 so this is your spring boot application you are embedding all the things here right so this is the main difference between the kamunda embedded as well as the cloud based architecture right so how we are achieving the cloud based with the help of zb client that is a main thing you need to understand that actually how we are connecting your spring boot application with cloud kamunda cloud, cloud with the help of zb client library okay so hope you understood maybe let's in the future tutorials let's see how to set up the things and how to uh, run the application and all the stuff okay hope you understood right so thanks for watching please uh, feel free to add your comments if you have any okay thanks guys thanks bye bye